chapter Jack, Will, Julian and Charlotte from the book Wonder. We followed Mr Tushman into a small room across from Mrs Garcia's desk. He was talking as he closed the door to his office and sat down behind his big desk, though I wasn't really paying much attention to what he was saying. I was looking around at all the things on his desk, cool stuff like a globe that floated in the air and a Rubik's type cube that made with little mirrors. I liked his office a lot. I liked that there were all these neat little drawings and paintings by students on the walls, framed like they were important. Mum sat down in a chair in front of Mr Tushman's desk, and even though there was another chair right next to hers, I decided to, I decided to stand beside her. Why do you have your own room and Mrs G doesn't, I said. You mean why do I have an office? asked Mr Tushman. She said she runs the place, I, I said. Oh, well, I was kind of kidding. Mrs G is my assistant. Miss, Mr Tushman is the director of the middle school, Mum explained. Do they call you Mr T? I asked, which made him smile. Do you know who Mr T is? He answered. I pity the fool, he said He said in a funny, tough voice, like he was imitating someone. I had no idea what he was talking about. Anyway, no, said Mr Tushman, shaking his head. No one calls me Mr T, though I have a feeling I'm called a lot of other things I don't know about. Let's face it, a name like mine is not so easy to live with, you know what I mean? Here I have to admit I totally laughed, because I knew exactly what he meant. My mum and dad had a teacher called Miss Butt, I said. Oh, gay, said mum, but Mr Tushman laughed. Now that's bad, said Mr Tushman, shaking his head. I guess I shouldn't complain. Hey, so, listen, August, here's what I thought we could do today. Is that a pumpkin, I said, pointing to a frame painting behind Mr Tushman's desk. Augie, sweetie, don't interrupt, said mum. You like it? said Mr Tushman, turning around and looking at the painting. I do too, and I thought it was a pumpkin, too, until the student who gave it to me explained that it was actually not a pumpkin. It is, are you ready for this, a portrait of me. Now, August, I ask you, do I really look that much like a pumpkin? No, I answered, though I was kind of thinking yes. Something about the way his cheeks puffed out when he smiled made him look like a jack-o'-lantern. Just as I thought that, it occurred to me how funny that was cheeks mr tushman and i started laughing a little i shook my head and covered my mouth with my hand mr tushman smiled like he could really read my mind i was about to say something else but then all of a sudden i heard other voices outside the office kids voices i'm not exaggerating when i say this but my heart literally started beating like i'd just run the longest race in the world the laughter i had inside just poured out of me the thing is when I was little, I never minded meeting new kids because all the kids I met were really little too. What's cool about really little kids is that they don't say stuff to you, stuff to, you to try hurt your feelings, even though sometimes they do say stuff that hurts your feelings, but they don't actually know what they're saying. <coughs> Big kids, though, they know what they're saying, and that is definitely not fun for me. One of the reasons I grew my hair long last year was that I like how big my, how ba my bangs cover my ears. It, it helps me block out the things I don't want to see. Mrs. Garcia knocked on the door and poked her head inside. They're here, Mr. Tushman, she said. Who's here? I said. Thanks, said Mr. Tushman to Mrs. Garcia. August, I thought it would be a good idea for, me, for you to meet some students who will be in your homeroom this year. I figure they could take you around to school a bit, show you the lay of the land, so to speak. I don't want to meet anyone, I said to Mum. Mr Tushman was suddenly right in front of me, his hands on my shoulders. He leaned down and, and said very softly in my ear, It'll be okay, August. These are nice kids, I promise. You're going to be okay, Augie, Mum whispered with all her might. Before she could say anything else, Mr Tushman opened the door to his office. Come on in, kids, he said. And in walked two boys and a girl. None of them looked over, over to me over at me or mum. They stood by the door looking straight at Mr Tushman like their lives depended on it. Thanks so much for coming guys, especially since school doesn't start until next month, said Mr Tushman. Have you had a good summer? All of them nodded but no one said anything. Great, great, said Mr Tushman. So guys, I wanted you to meet August. He'll be a new student here this year. August, these guys have been students at Beecher Prep since kindergarten, though of course they were in the lower school building, but they know all the ins and outs of the middle school programme, and since you're all in the same homeroom, I thought it would be nice if you got to know each other a little before school started. Okay? So kids, this is August. August, this is Jack Will. Jack Will looked at me and put out his hand. When I shook it, he, ha he kind of half smiled and said, hey, and I looked down really fast. This is Julian, said Mrs Tushman. Hey, said Julian, and did the same exact thing as Jack Will. 
took my hand, forced a smile, looked down fast. And Charlotte, said Mr Tushman. Charlotte had the blondest hair that I've ever seen. She didn't shake my hand, but gave a little, a quick little wave and smile. Hi, August, nice to meet you, she said. Hi, I said, looking down. She was wearing bright green Crocs. So, said Mr Tushman, putting his hands together in a kind of slow clap, what I thought you guys could do is take August on a little tour of the school. Maybe you could start on the third floor. That's when your homeroom class is going to be room 301, I think. Mrs G is... Room 301? Mrs Garcia called out from the other room. Room 301, Mr Tushman nodded. And then you can show August the science labs in the computer room. Then work your way down to the library in the performance space on the second floor. Take him to the cafeteria, of course. Should we take him to the music room? asked Julian. Good idea, yes, said Mr Tushman. August, do you play any instrument? No, I said. But it wasn't my favourite subject on account of the fact that I don't really have ears. Well... I do, but they don't exactly look like normal ears. Well, you may enjoy seeing the music room anyway, said Mr Tushman. We have a very nice selection of percussion instruments. August, you've been waiting to learn to play the drums, Mum said, trying to get me a l- to, get to look at her. But my eyes were covered by the bangs as I started at a piece of old gum that was stuck to the bottom of Mr Tushman's desk. Great, OK, so why don't you guys get going, said Mr Tushman. Just be back here in... He looked at Mum. Half an hour? Okay. I think Mum nodded. So, is that okay with you, August? He asked me. I didn't answer. Is that okay, August? Mum repeated. I looked at her now. I know I wanted her to see how mad I was at her, but then I saw her face and just nodded. She seemed more scared than I was. The other kids started out the door, so I followed them. See you soon, said Mum, her voice sounding a little higher than normal. I didn't answer her.